Hi friends, in this video we see development of cone. Here we take one question. Draw the development of surface of the cone having base diameter 50 mm and axis height 70 mm. If it is cut by cutting plane which bisect the axis of the cone and incline at 45 degree with HP. This is a cutting condition. If it is a cut by cutting plane which bisect the axis. Our cutting plane is bisect the axis and inclined to 45 degree with HP. Now we start. First we draw a top view. They say base diameter is 50 mm. Then here we take one center axis. Then we take 2.5 mm in our rounder because our diameter is 50 mm. Then our radius is 25 mm, 2.5 mm, 2.5 centimeter. This is our base of cone. Then we make a 12 equal parts of this base circle same as last video. By using this rounder, we make a 12 parts, each part of 30 degree. After making 12 equal parts, we give naming 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11 and 12. Now we take a projection in front view. We take a projection of each and every point in front view. After taking projection, they give the height of axis of pole is 70 mm. Then we mark 70 mm here. we get our apex of pole after getting this apex we join this point together Once again, this one is a 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, here 8 dash, 9 dash, 10 dash, 11 dash, and this one is a 12 dash. This one is our center opex O apex hole here O dash now we take a section plane then description of section plane is which is bisecting the axis and 45 degree inclined to HP 
then we first marking mark here 45 degree then we mark midpoint of our axis because our section is bisect the axis our axis is 70 mm then center is at 3.5 by using this roller scale we mark the 45 degree which is passing from this axis once again i show you yes from this point we pass our section plane name as ss then we get p dash 1 P dash two, P dash three, P dash four, P dash five, P dash six, P dash seven. Same here, we get P dash eight, P dash nine, P dash ten, P dash eleven, and this is our P dash twelve. P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, up to P12. Then we erase this. Now we have to draw lateral surface of this cutting cone. To draw lateral surface of cutting cone, we must require theta, and our formula for theta is. Theta is equals to small r upon capital R into 360. This is only for cone. Theta is equals to r small r upon capital R into 360. Then here our small r is nothing but radius of our base circle. And capital R is nothing but our slant height. We measure here slant height is 7.5. Our slant height is 7.5. Then by using Kelsey, we do this calculation: 2.5 divided by 7.5 into 360. We get 120 degree. Then for lateral surface, we fix our O here, and this is our axis. Then we put rounder here and mark 120 degree. then we make well equal part of this before making well equal part we mark this axis we rough Unnecessary lines, unnecessary markings. Then we make twelve equal parts of this. It's very easy. One twenty divided by twelve, we get ten degree. One, two, three.
the same way apply by using the radian rod we join all planes together with this apex Now we project by using this front view. We take a distance this O P dash one and mark here one with O, this one with O. Next P dash two and P dash twelve. P dash two with P dash twelve. P dash three. We take this distance with apex. We mark here P dash three with this three. P dash three and P dash eleven. P dash four and P dash ten. We take a this distance. This one is our p dash four and p dash ten. Then p dash five, p dash nine. This is our p dash five and p dash nine. Last two projection p dash six, p dash eight. P dash six with this P dash eight and last is P dash seven. P dash seven. After projecting this point, simply we join this point by using French curve. If French curve is not available, then by using light pencil, first you join all point together, and then make fine. This is your P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11, 
P11, P12 and one second is P1, this is the center O. In this way, we complete our lateral surface view. This is theta. This is our front view. This is our top view. Now last dimensions. This is our final lateral surface of section 4. Thank you.